Hey coaches, Cody Wilson of the assistant coach at .net. Uh, I thought we'd take some time today to talk about cover one and the uh, structure behind it and the weaknesses. And I have here a list of a couple of things on the board we'll talk about in a minute. But, but first, let's go ahead and jump into the structure of cover one. So here I have a two by two formation and I've got cover one drawn up. And what cover one is, is meaning that we have man uh, coverage underneath with one high safety over the top. And that one high safety, his job is to be deeper than the deepest man, not to let anybody beat him. He is the uh, safety net for any of these underneath guys uh, getting beat on their man coverage of an of a offensive player. Now, cover one brings with it a couple of things that are understood. Yes, it's going to be man coverage with one guy over the top, but when you look at the box here, it means that they're going to have six guys in the box, and that can mean a couple of things. It can mean that they are bringing pressure, that they are perhaps blitzing one of these guys. Another thing it could mean is that they have a uh, spy on the quarterback or that they have a low hole player playing zone underneath because we've got man coverage, man coverage, man coverage, man coverage. Only one of these two guys needs to be able to cover the running back in the backfield in this particular look. So that frees up the second player to do one of those things that I just mentioned, to spy the quarterback, to blitz, or to be a low hole player playing right here. Now, uh, some ways that we can identify cover one is by having uh, what a lot of people call middle of the field closed. So middle of the field closed, meaning there is, when you have the quarterback look straight down the middle of the field towards the goal post, is there a defender in your line of sight? In the middle right there? Yes, there is a safety right in the middle. That is middle of the field closed. And why do we use that term middle of the field closed? Well, it's because I don't really want to run a route to right to the middle of the field now. It is closed for business. There is nothing that I really want to run right there. I would like to run things to the outside of the field where there are all these open spaces. Okay, so there's all this open space to the side. I would like to run some routes there. That is where the defender is not. That is called negative space. So there are a lot of people down here, low, close to the line of scrimmage. These guys are normally going to be lined up five yards or closer to the offensive player of which they are guarding. They're typically also going to line up on the inside of them. You can see right here, I got this corner. In this corner, they're lined up inside. That's to prevent the easy in-breaking route to get open. They want you to beat them going outside. Um, making a harder and longer throw for the quarterback. So that is the basic uh, cover uh, coverage and structure of the defense when we're going cover one. Now, you'll see that I have a list over here. Okay, that list is the uh, basic ideas offensively that we would like to incorporate when we're going up against a cover one defense. And those are double moves. So we would want to run things like hitch and go, out and up, uh, slant and return, or like a whip or a snag route, if you call it that. Uh, even deeper double moves like post corner, or a poco is what I call it, or, or corner post, a cop route. Um, some people even run dig and up and things like that. But those are double moves that we would want to incorporate. Now, why do you want to run a double move? Well, if it's about being one-on-one, -on -one, a defender versus an offensive player, that double move gives me more of an opportunity to win. I make him think one thing. He jumps on that first initial part of the route. He jumps on the, the hitch, and then I go by him. He jumps on the slant, and then I go by him. He jumps on the out, and I go by him. Um, but that means, though, to run double moves, you've got to run the base part of that double move uh, a few times and set it up. That is setting up a play uh, for later. Now, option routes and isolations, they kind of go together. Uh, they're not always the same thing, but when you run an option route, 
Um, this is a little bit more run and shoot oriented uh, style of offense where you're uh, putting a player uh, on a defender and you're saying, okay, if he's shaded this way or covered in here, I want you to break out. If he's outside, I want you to break in. If he's deep, I want you to cut your route off short. If he's real low playing tight man coverage, I want you to go deep and run by him. That is the basic premise. Again, it's going where they are not. Um, the isolations, that, that is a predetermined route where by formation or design or by route concepts, the way that the routes are drawn up, you are isolating a defender on one of your receivers. Uh, typically, we see this a whole lot in a three-by-one set, three receivers to one side, one receiver to the other, and we have that one receiver isolated in man coverage, and we like to throw the backside slant. That is one of the most popular, easy things to do is to run those things, whether it be a slant, a hitch, an out, or a fade. Those four routes are, are really the most common ones when you talk about backside isolation, especially in a three-by-one set. Then we also have switch routes. Now that could be, again, this is a run and shoot idea. Uh, the, the concept is called switch. It is from running two vertical routes from a four vertical idea. The two receivers on one side, they have the outside receiver, the inside receiver, and they switch and then they keep running their vertical routes. It could be that it is short switch routes, like uh, you have underneath coverage and say you're running uh, stick, okay, and instead of running stick like you normally do with him on the stick and him running out or something, we would switch to him on the stick and maybe him on and out or uh, keep him on like the spot route going deep and him run a uh, swing route, okay, short switches uh, like that are very popular. Then we have condensed formations. Now, that's not a play, but it is still a, a, a way of attacking cover one. Uh, those condensed formations brings everybody in close. It might be a uh, trips bunch or it might just be two by two and everybody squeezed in tight. And by nature what you're doing is creating a lot of room, a lot of area for the defenders to end up rubbing on each other um, so that you can run uh, across the field with concepts like mesh and things like that. So those are uh, four or five of the main things we'd want to look at when it comes to running uh, an offense against cover one. Now, I did make a list over here too of a bunch of concepts. I've, I've done that, I've done the research and uh, through some experience, these are a lot of plays that you'd like. Is this a complete full list? No, but it is a lot of the things that you would uh, want to consider against cover one. We've got the double slant, we've got a slant arrow or a slant flat, we've got the fade with the out, we've got uh, the seam with the out. So that's the out by the slot receiver and an out by the outside receiver. We've got the stick concept, running all stops or all hitches. We've got sail. Sail is a uh, corner route. So sail is basically like this. We've got the go and it's either a corner uh, maybe the John Gruden banana, or you could even call it just a straight uh, out there. We've got smash, a slot fade. And these three are all very similar. They're in the same family here. We've got shallow, uh, drive, and mesh. Go or four verticals, uh, a deep cross, and a curl. And again, that's not everything that it could possibly be, but those are all plays that somewhat adhere to these uh, five major ideas that we talked about when you're doing cover one. Um, so the thing that they have in common is, A, when you're looking at these four uh, short routes, these quick game routes here at the top, they're all going to set up your double moves for later, and they're going to isolate a defender. Like, for example, with the fade out and the seam out. Okay, well, on that concept... Let's say we're running the fade out. Well, you got him running the vertical and him running the out route. Well, this corner is going to run with the vertical, so now I have an easy read uh, right here on the outbreaking defender. He's just got to make this defender think that I'm going vertical and snap it to the out. Okay, so again, 
if this guy is playing inside leverage like many defenders do in cover one man, uh, then that makes it easier. I can stem inside and I can break out. That would be really good if we were running against a uh, too high look of man, which is possible, cover two man. Um, even better for cover one, and I'm just explaining that these two things can be in your arsenal, cover one, we would like to send him on the vertical. That holds this safety in place. He can't fly over the top. And we work the out route here so that we're reading this corner as the defender. So we hold this guy in place by running vertical. And then the corner is one-on-one -on -one here. Again, make him think inside and break outside. Now that just comes down to whether or not your quarterback can make the throw, if you're on the left hash or the right hash, uh, some of those kind of things. But that's one of the basic uh, ways that you can do that. And that, are, that is one concept, the out concept with a vertical route that you can run versus a couple of different structures. And, and you could even have one play call for that and teach your skill players who has the vertical route against the, uh, the, uh, the structure, the, the shell of the defense, whether it's a one high or two high. Now, I know that's not a whole lot of detail in exactly all the routes and everything, but I wanted to go over the basic concept behind the structure and the weakness of the defense and also some of the things that we would do to attack uh, the defense. Now, if you'd like me to go into more detail about some of these concepts and routes, I would love to do that. I'd like you to leave me a comment uh, below. Um, definitely like and share the video, subscribe um, to the channel, to the page, all those good things. That'd be great, but, but really uh, take a look at these things and if there is a specific concept that you'd like to see uh, discussed in more detail about cover uh, attacking cover one, uh, let me know what it is and we'll make a video. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is something that, uh, there, I, th I hope there's something you can take away and have learned from this today and something you can take back to your team and have some success with. All right, thanks.